It's always new and fresh, and I'm unlocking symbols. They think I just bang it out in an hour. I don't. You know, we have a, a saying in the office, the reader is never so, wrong. Never. You know, sometimes we get carried away in hyperbole. We have to want- test everything. And it's exhausting. Yeah. If you're Did- if you're really on the horns of a dilemma, then ask for more information. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're even picking a new developer based on giving them the quality of life. I do think, and the readers on Twitter don't know that I have to think. They think I just bang it out in an hour. I don't. Even even if I'm writing fast, let's say I I, I liken it to to childbirth. I mean, some babies come fast, some babies come slow. Yeah. Sometimes a sign like Taurus will take all day. Wow. Um, because in the beginning of the, see, I always start with Aries, end with Pisces, because. Aries is the bud, is the correct way. You should always begin with Aries. <laughs> Magazines that begin with Capricorn, that's wrong. <laughs> but the cycle begins there, the spring, you know. Yeah, that so, I mean, makes sense, right? <laughs> right. So I'm still memorizing the month on the first three or four. Gotcha. And I keep going back because I don't want to just give full moon and new moon. I want to, every month has a little special feature. And nothing ever repeats exactly. It's always new and fresh, and I'm unlocking symbols, which I really like to do. I, I like doing that. Yeah. I'm very well suited for that part because I, it's, I it's enjoy like it. It's like you're solving problems, too. Yeah. And you're, and you're critically thinking about all the pieces and how they 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 play, yeah. play out. And that's probably one of the reasons uh. why you've had so much success is there's clearly <laughs> so much passion in it. This isn't just about doing something and producing a product it's like look at the love and care that you sometimes spend a whole day on one sign oh yeah and and you're still the one writing right and and i try to tell people not to call me like my best friend or i'm like anna look at the date (gasps) okay got it got it i'll go i'll just tell you one thing and then about (laughs) and then they you know but you also have other things going on that you have you know um courtney may say the readers are writing in that there's, uh, they didn't get their, their daily by email. Because I have an app mm-hmm. on Apple and Google. Daily Susan, Mil- Susan oh, well, Miller's it's, Astrology Zone one, right? Well, the, Apple made me change it to Daily Horoscope Astrology Zone. Okay. I don't like to call it that because it has my essays and everything on there. But I listen to them. They take 30%, so does Google. But they're worth it. Yeah. You're nothing if you're not on. And there's probably a lot of bookkeeping for them, I'm I can't even imagine what they go through. So, you know, we have a a saying in the office, the reader is never wrong. Never. They're never crazy. They'll say things that sound off the shelf. And I'm like, now write her back. The problem is every reader writes to us. It's not working, but we don't. (laughs) What phone do you have? (laughs) Or are you getting it by email? If you're getting it by phone, what operating system? Did you upgrade it recently? Are you in a place where there's Wi-Fi? You wouldn't believe how many people say, there's no bars on my phone. They think it's my fault. <laughs> well, you might want to try walking near the window or outside. You'll find like, well, it. Let's you know. troubleshoot. That's like, that's like the printer's not working. Did you plug it in? <laughs> well, you know, we've all had that. We've all done it ourselves, you know. But um, we try to help them. And, uh, you know, my app is, uh, if you buy the premium one, it's free. First yeah. of all, it's free. But if you want the premium one, it's four ninety nine a month, mm-hmm. or twelve ninety nine for three months, or forty nine that was forty nine ninety nine for the whole year. Now it's on auto re- renewal, and if you don't know how to stop it, we do, and because we asked Apple, and they gave us seven little baby steps. They're very easy. But here's the thing: if you know you're going to switch, say from a Samsung to an iPhone, then just get one month. Because Apple will never refund a half-eaten sandwich. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You have to, If just go by the month then if you don't know when you're getting your phone. And then, you know, wait until the end of the month and get it. Of course, they can't get it with Mar- Mercury retrograde. I won't let them. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> just it's right about to happen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm really in the bunker for 10 days at the end of every month. Then everybody knows I come out, Persephone goes up <laughs> to earth, <laughs> but then the calls are coming, and yeah. it's a lot. Now, I have a thing that anybody who works for me, 
I asked them, would you send me a bill with a self-addressed envelope? You don't have to have a stamp. So right here in LA, I'm not home. I have all my checks. I have all my stamps. And uh, Courtney sent me an overnight letter with FedEx. I have all my first class letters in there, all the bills. I, pay, I try to pay the day I get it. I, I always do. You know, now right now it's, it's Friday. I won't be home until Tuesday night. But actually, when I get home from the airport, I usually just sit down and start writing checks, put them right next to the door, and I live next to a post office it's across the street. And I, you know, it's better to put it in the slot than put it on the mailbox on the street because the mailman said some mailmen don't pick it up always on, you know, they all wait until the end of the day or something. So I really care about the people that work for me. I really want them to have a good experience. Yeah. Actually, like to it. give you an idea, I'm going to refresh the whole app, and I've been interviewing this week eight app companies, and it's exhausting. Did you know the world is uh, divided between lovers and beloveds, and you're okay. one or the other, and you probably know which one you are. If you're a lover, you like to present. Yeah. I'm definitely a lover. If you're a beloved, you like to be presented to and then choose. Well, I am terrible at that because right now my stomach is like, oh, I want everybody to win. You know? No, that's, that's how I you am. Know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, out of the eight, four really, really are fantastic. But I always feel if you can't make up your mind, then ask for more information. Mm -hmm. We're asking for some references. We'd like to see actual apps they've done so I could download them and play with them and see which ones are easy to navigate. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're really on the horns of a dilemma, then ask for more information. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Because I really want to be fair. These people have really put in the work and the time. It, they all did a good job. Yeah. I have... Eight engineers working around the clock in Austin um, because, you know, the internet is the waterfall. Yeah. You have to be on all the time. And then I have three people who put my content in. Now, they said, oh, you could do it, Susan. I said, wait a minute, You're t you want to take away my red telephone with the plexi over it and the key? <laughs> no, 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 for safety. <laughs> Even to save me from myself. I don't have any disgruntled employees. But what if I say, oh, I spelled that wrong. Or I can make that sentence better. Oh, no. I, I, oh, I no, no, no. Like That's that. a bottomless pit. No, <laughs> no. Don't teach me. And then I'll do a typo or something. No. And I have uh, Edward Rubenstein is my editor-in-chief. And then he has four editors um, who... who uh, who report to him, one from CNBC, one from About.com, one from Harper's Bazaar, and one from Meredith, and the other one is from Hamptons Magazine. Yeah, so they're all top-notch. Yeah. I wrote a style guide. Um, I even give it to the magazines I write for. It's 18 pages, but the style guide, I explain everything, and I give examples. Like I say, I never will use the passive. So instead of saying, oh, finances are troubling, that's uh -huh. bad. It's better to be more personal. You may come up short with money this week. Yeah. You know, just be much more direct and be always talking the singular. Uh, don't say you're going to have many dates or many job offers. You're going to have one really interesting job offer. You know, it, if you try for it, if you aim for it, you've got a good chance of getting that. You know, so, you know, sometimes we get carried away in hyperbole and I want to keep it real. Yeah, and know? then it's relatable and people feel like you're writing directly to them. You know, there's one thing I have to stop my readers from reading me on uh, cell phones. Mm. Uh, Business Insider wrote a story about this. If you've ever been reading me or... 500,000 other sites, that's how many were attacked. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> if you ever saw a gift card, 
and it said it's a gift card from Amazon and the colors are all wrong and you know it's not Amazon and you pound the screen to get rid of it. That's some foreign country that has figured out how to get into your phone through the ads that you're looking at. You're looking at a website and websites have ads. Yeah. And they get in there and they... they well, I don't know what they're doing. I'm afraid they're looking for your contacts. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries. Um, so that's why I have a free version of my app. Mm. There's no reason to go on the Internet. You know what? They don't do it on computers. They can't. They can't figure it out, thank God. And they, can't, they don't go on uh, tablets. But they have figured out how to get in through your cell phone. And it doesn't matter if you're on an iPhone or on a Samsung. It doesn't matter what browser you're on. And my readers, we know that so many of them, that figure I gave you is only on the desktop computer. It does not, well, it does include people who are looking on, say, Safari or Chrome, but it doesn't include the app. And because apps are in their infancy, yeah. I started in 2002. Apple didn't even let you charge for an app. You had to pay all that editorial. And, you know, but I felt I was practicing. Mm. And during that period, all of a sudden in 2006, the app map market fell apart. And it was just like falling through the floor. And the company I was with, Hands On Mobile, said, well, just give up and leave. I'm like, what? No, I'm not going to give up and leave. Yeah. No, I mean, I have market share and I've worked hard and I finally figured it all out and it's smooth now. So I uh, had a line of credit from a bank. I borrowed $90,000, not all at once, little by little, because I thought the app market would get well sooner, uh -huh. but it wasn't. It was taking four years and I was still paying everyone. And uh, and then I paid it all back. It's a beautiful credit. Chase loves me. And uh, and I now I have to build an entirely new app. Wow. And apps are very expensive. You know what it is? After seven years, they, they look a little old-fashioned. So I want to have new features and new things. I want to listen to what the readers want. And uh, it's fun. It's creative. They show you what they call wireframes. Yeah. And, um, and I tell them, don't go through a lot of work on the computer. I'm used to seeing stuff on the back of an envelope. Don't, you know, yeah. don't. I'm always worried that people are going to work hard, too hard, you know. And, and going back to why I want L.A. for my app developer, I have the time difference. Yeah. I often work until midnight, one in the morning, sometimes longer. And I'm, I'm working for those 10 days. I'm really tired by the end. But, you know, like when I have to write the note from Susan Miller, because it's the only way I can get to the reader, and they can see it either online or on the app, we have to test all the links that other people give us if we want to show something interesting. We have to test everything. And, and then the, the engineers test it, too. We do a double test. And so if I get done, say, at 1 in the morning, it's still only 10 o'clock here, and it's a much nicer life for the guys who help me. Look at you, yeah. always caring. And, and look well, at how I much just care. Like, I hope that like, the people that are listening hear like, uh. how much you put into <laughs> everything you do. I mean, yeah. you're even picking a new developer based on giving them the quality of life, right? Yeah, You're spending 10 days you know, locked away until <laughs> 1, 2 in the morning writing to make sure that it is the best for the readers, right? If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.